Good morning everyone. Welcome to our webinar. Today you will learn how to utilize Snappy Cloud database, show maps and directions to your business locations, create image galleries, collect rich data such as photos, signatures, barcodes, etc. Using our native features you will be able to make apps that have a unique look and feel, no programming skills required. At the end of the webinar you will be able to ask questions. To ask a question, please use the questions box on the webinar panel. When you first register on our website, you are offered to start making your first app. You try any pre-built app that you can copy to your account, customize and test, or you create an app from scratch. Either way, Snappy what you see is what you get visual editor will open. To the left from the iPhone canvas, you see information about the app. Icons, splash screen, colors and fonts app name, app information, different app settings, sign up email that you can send to your registered app users, HTML5 web app settings, user management means role-based access to the app. You can control who has access to your app content with this user management. PayPal settings if your app utilizes product catalogs, shopping carts, in-app purchases. Once you set up your app, you can save it here. To preview your app, please download Snappy Preview app from the iTunes Store and Google Play and then log in with your Snappy credentials. Now you can fill your app out with content. To the right from the iPhone canvas, you see tabs, buttons and elements. Tabs, also known as pages, are placed at the bottom of the iPhone. Buttons are added on the tabs and fields are added on the forms. When you add a tab, uh, you see that its image, icon and names can be changed. You can specify your icon by choosing one from our library or uploading your own from computer. Tabs can only be black and white, unlike buttons, you can take any color, shape, font and size. You can also choose one from our library, find in the internet or upload from computer. Set up the size. Choose the font. Let's create an app that showcases products and services. For example, a hotel and spa resort. We will create an image gallery to show hotel rooms with the ability to reserve a room. Also, I will show you how to create a reservation form. First of all, we need to create a simple Excel spreadsheet with the rooms. Images, room type, description and call to make a reservation. Click the data source dialog and upload the data into it. Match the fields from your uh, Excel spreadsheet with a column type. For example, to showcase images we need to have image type. All the rest will be text. Save the data source. Once saved, it will appear here. Close the dialog. Uh, add to, click to add gallery layout. View. Title and tab name. Security means who has access to your list. Who can add data, delete data, update data. By default, there are three user, user types: anonymous, logged in, and app reviewer. You can add more roles using user management. Gallery view. Now we need to select the saved data source. And select the view. Grid. The preview is to the right. Horizontal row. Or split screen. 
I will choose split screen. Now we need to set up the view template. This is uh, the gallery view template for the images and the details here shown as text is the detail view template. The gallery view we need to set up height and width. And the detail view will be custom. And click OK. Let's edit the gallery view. The gallery view will show the room type in my case. No need for you to enter the actual types, the real names. Just set up the amount of text entered here. Choose the source, the data source, and type. This is the name of the field the data will be taken from. Now let's add an image. It's always snappy image by default. No need for you to upload your own image. It's just uh, to show. The image will be taken from the data source, room image. Now the detail view. The detail view will allow <clears throat> to make a reservation, data source, call, and show the description for each room. Again, no need for you to set up the real text. Just enter the amount you feel is necessary. Set up the layout the way you want. Description. Now I will show you how it looks like. I made a screenshot from the iPod. Here's what we have. Lake view. This is the type of the room. The image is taken from the data source as well. Ability to call and the description. When you scroll to the right, you see more images for more rooms, more room types, maybe other descriptions and um, ability to call for reservation is also different for each room. All the data is taken from the data source. We have uploaded it in here. Now I will show you how to create advanced map to give your app users information about your business location. There are several ways to display locations. Nearby, map, advanced map. The nearby works with the default categories with a search string. For example, if you type hotel in here, it will show the location uh, for all the hotels found in the district. You can also upload a list of your own business locations. In this case, you are offered to download sample spreadsheet, see how it looks like, and fill it up with your data. Same for the advanced map and the map. They all work with your own uploaded spreadsheet. So let's upload, create and upload a spreadsheet. Map. Hotel name, address, phone number, contact email, logo, description, location. This location field is very important. You need to enter uh, the location latitude and longitude. Just take it from Google. Uh, this setting will show the directions. Let's upload it. We need to match the data type. The logo will be image. The location will be location. All the rest will be text. Click to save and close. 
Now drag and drop the advanced map view. Let us call it directions. Map view. Here we are selecting the saved uploaded spreadsheet. We see that the location field came up automatically. We are setting up the view, the detail view, annotation view, and cell view. Below we are adding the advanced map view templates. We have templates or custom view, so you can choose either or. Detail view will be custom, and cell view will be the same as the annotation view for me. Let's click to edit the detail view. I want it to show uh, the hotel logo, the hotel name, too large. Phone number taken from the data source. Don't forget to match. Ability to one-click email. Hotel description. Now, how you can show the directions. You need to add this map button here. See that it's already matched with the location field we have in our data source. Select the pin view. You can select the hotel name, for example, or anything from your data source or nothing. Now save the app. Let me show you in the preview. So this is our annotation view. This was the default image that I had in my spreadsheet taken from the data source. Uh, this is the name of the hotel. When you click it, it opens the detail view. This is the detail view. The image, the name of the hotel, or the map, call, email, etc. Now what happens when you click the map? When you click the map, it shows you the route between your current location and the destination. When you click Start, it starts showing you the directions. Now I will show you how to collect data from your app users. In our case, let's create a reservation form. Drag and drop the Universal Form tab. Let's call it Reservations. Submit by data source. Here specify if you are using the uploaded database or not. Submit by email. Here specify uh, where this reservation form will go to and the format it will go uh, email body, spreadsheets, PDF, submit by a web post. You need to check this if you're using your own web services. Then configure your element, time settings, and paging. You can add paging uh, if you have a large form and would like to show form submission progress to your app users. Click OK. Now we need to drag and drop the form fields onto the form. But first of all, I want my form to have a background image. So I'm adding the image element and uploading it from my computer. Set up the size. And click OK. Now we are good to add 
the fields our app users would see. First of all, I want them to enter their names. The placeholder is something that they will see so that they could know what information they need to enter into the field. You can choose if this, this field is required or not, its width, type of data, name is text, for example, phone number is number, um, email address, self-explanatory. So just click OK. Let's add phone number, field. required number. We have the ability to enter date, time or both date and time, date of reservation and the same placeholder. It will be required and it will be of a different width. If you add a multi-choice field, you will have your app users to choose among the options you offer. For example, what they can reserve, spa, hotel, or a restaurant. You can choose if um, their selection is single or multiple. It means that if they choose to reserve just spa or just hotel or just restaurant or everything, if the field is required or not. A great feature is to collect comments from your app users. So let's allow them add in the comments not required but multi-line so that they could have free typing. Another cool thing is to allow your app users to send a copy of this reservation to their own email address. To enable this feature, drag and drop the text field. Let's name it send a copy email. It will be email address. And don't forget to put a check next to send data copy to the email. Not required. And that's it. Snippy Cloud Database allows our users to operate any amount of data. You can create apps that connect to Snappy Cloud Database or your internal IT systems. Besides, Snappy offers pre-built templates for connectors to such databases as Salesforce, Blogger, MailChimp, Vimeo. The Snappy platform is very flexible and we keep adding new features. We have detailed user manual, tutorials, frequently asked questions, chat and are now adding a support forum. After working on your app for a while, you can get great results. Just preview your app on your device. You will see how using tabs, buttons and elements you can create a totally custom app.